Hey, welcome back, everybody. Today's show is all about changing things up a little bit, and many of you probably know there have been some major changes to the flu vaccine this year. This year, we not only need one, but we need two flu shots. And joining us to talk about that is Dr. Robert Southwick of Aurora Healthcare, and uh, Melanie Teat, a registered nurse, is going to be uh, from Aurora's Visiting Nurse Association, is going to be actually giving me a shot in, in just a minute. But first of all, we want to talk to Dr. Um, this is on the news everywhere. Mm -hmm. I actually took my daughter to the doctor last week, and they were not going to let us out of there without getting that flu shot because it's so important this year. It is. The, the, the flu is, is a big problem every year. I don't think people realize how severe. It'll be about 225,000 people that will wind up hospitalized and about 36,000 people that die each year just from the traditional flu. And this year, now we have H1N1 uh, to add to that. And the cases we're seeing already are H1N1 cases. And in both the traditional flu and the H1N1, the best uh, way to prevent the illness is vaccination. Let's talk about that. So not one flu shot this year. We need two flu shots. Right now, people can go and get the, the regular flu shot, correct? Uh, they should be able to get the regular flu shot. Now, one of the things to realize is because of the push to develop the H1N1 vaccine and get it out quickly, uh, some of the manufacturers also make the traditional flu shot. So some of the systems may be running behind on their traditional flu shots, but we expect everyone that wants a vaccine to be able to get one. Now, the traditional flu shot comes in two forms. Tell me about that. Yep. The uh, one we're most familiar with is the injection, right. the actual vaccination, uh, which you're going to get today. Right. And then there's also what's called flu mist, which is a nasal vaccination, where it's essentially a mist that's sprayed into the nostrils. And they both work the same? Yep. Um, I mean, as far as they're going to do the job. Um, mm -hmm. And for kids, though, who are a little nervous about getting a shot, mm -hmm. and maybe some adults, too, the nasal, <laughs> the nasal option might be a good one. Exactly. All right, N1H1. Uh, uh, when's that coming out, that flu vaccine? We expect the H1N1 to arrive within the uh, system, usually within about 7 to 10 days. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, as far as getting that shot, you know, what do you think that vaccine's going to be ready? Well, initially, I know in the Aurora system, the plan is to uh, follow the CDC recommendations of uh, vaccinating high-risk individuals first. And uh, the most high-risk group is actually healthcare givers. Okay. So at Aurora, the plan is to get their uh, care providers all taken care of initially. And then the uh, high-risk groups after that would be um, anyone taking care of, of a child less than six months of age, children between six months and 24 years, uh, and then anyone between the ages of 24 and 65 that happens to have a chronic medical condition. So again, in the next few weeks, we should be seeing that vaccination yep. available, hopefully? Exactly. I and, mean, and people don't need to panic. This okay. is going to be something where the vaccine will come out in waves. Uh, we'll have uh, shipments of it coming regularly throughout the flu season. Uh, but ideally, we would like to get those higher risk individuals and, uh, vaccinated first. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, risk factors. I know there are a lot of people that really get nervous about vaccinations, and uh, I don't mm -hmm. want my kids having that and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, are there risk factors to either of these vaccines? Well, the uh, thing to understand with vaccines, the risk to any vaccine is always a lot less than the risk of the disease you're preventing. Uh, can I tell you vaccine uh, reactions don't happen? No, no one can say that. But we're not going to have 36,000 people die from vaccination reactions, but we will have 36,000 people potentially die from flu infections. Good point. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> Melanie, here, here we go. And I'm going to go for the shot version because yep. uh, I'm okay with that. And uh, we're going to do it in my left arm because mm -hmm. I'm playing tennis today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My daughter Ireland had it a week ago, and um, she was a trooper. I can do this, not a problem. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Um, the other question, uh, mm -hmm. um, Doctor, can you get them both? Say you're waiting a little bit, which you sure. shouldn't do, but mm -hmm. uh huh. Rest and relax. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, pay, uh, no uh, <laughs> pay no attention. Pay no attention. Anyway, um, can you get them both at the same time? Let's you you can get them both at the same time if you're getting the vaccine as an injection, like you're having. Okay. If you're someone who prefers the nasal vaccinations, you can't get both at the same time. Okay. Um, unless you were to get one as a nasal vaccination and one as an injection. Okay. Well, that was actually. No big deal mm -hmm. at all. No. I mean, seriously, no big deal. So um, if I can do it, you can too. Get exactly. the kids vaccinated. Take the time. Yeah. Um, pregnant women too. Pregnant women, really important. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of offices, work environments are giving the flu shot. Exactly. Um, so, you know, it's out there. It's out there and people should take it. All right. Dr. Thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having us. Not one this year. Both of them. Yep. Appreciate it. And thanks, Melanie. You're welcome. She's a good shot giver. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, we're back to the kitchen uh, with another delicious recipe. We're going to change things up and do uh, uh, a pumpkin praline. Is it pumpkin praline? Turtle. Praline turtle. It's just going to be really good. We're going to kick pumpkin pie.